I'd like to thank the Augustana Board of Trustees, President Balls, the faculty, and the graduates for the honor of delivering your 2020 commencement address. As an eye doctor, 2020 means a lot to me. However, today is about you. And if you feel a little blue about the change in format on this momentous occasion, I would, as a former basketball player, say, box the feeling out. Because out of this daunting situation comes an opportunity for each of us to do better and to be better, starting today. My talk today is on the best advice ever. And to be clear, I don't have it. But if you reflect long enough, you'll realize that you probably do. Recently, my pastor, Gerald Brooks, asked, have you ever been given advice and brushed it off only to wish you had taken it? How many remember Samson in the Bible? He was a Nazarite and his mother upon his birth dedicated him to the principles called the Nazarite vows. And technically, this pledged him to a life of, number one, no alcohol, number two, never cutting his hair, and number three, avoiding that which is dead. How many failed after number one? <laughs> These vows were supposed to be advice for living your life effectively. Today, we might interpret these commandments a little more broadly to suggest no alcohol is a metaphor for having the discipline to say no to things that are not good for you. And occasionally, this may also mean saying no to yourself. Discipline is not an emotion. It is a decision. The hair analogy could be a commitment to continued personal growth. This is not a team sport. This is something you have to do for yourself. And lastly, avoiding that which is dead means avoiding what you have outgrown and is no longer necessary for your life's journey. Through my life's journey, here is the advice I have chosen not to ignore. Number one, keep God first. Family matters and integrity matters. Always remember, ability can take you to the top, but it is character and integrity that will keep you there. Number two, courage is tied to strength and strength is tied to wisdom. And number three, be good stewards of the resources you are given. In preparing my comments, I discovered some poignant nuggets of advice from many walks of life. Wendy Kopp, the founder of Teach for America Shares. Always look around the table and invite in voices that are not heard. And if you're the one who can offer an unheard perspective, something that can move our shared humanity forward, have the courage to speak up, even when it feels difficult. And then Shimamanda Ngozi Adichie, the author of the best-selling book, Americana, said this about cliches. Life is short really means do something, have a purpose. The purpose does not need to be grand. Sometimes the smaller the purpose, the more meaningful. For instance, to be kind, to have empathy, to think of the humanity of other people, to try. You are at the beginning of many magical moments. So stand tall today and accept your degree from one of the finest institutions of higher learning in this country. We are all so very proud of you, proud of who you are now and who you will become. Life will continue to chisel and refine you. Keep the chisel sharp and grow into the best rendition of you. 
Parents, you should also stand tall. Today, you deserve a medal. After many years of marriage, I wondered if I would ever know the joys and pains of being a mother. But one day, north of age 40, it finally happened. And by far, it has been my most important job. All schools can teach, but the value proposition for Augustana extends into nurturing your overall well being. As an employer, I can teach you to do a job, but I can't teach you to be a fully engaged and developed individual choosing to contribute to the world. Your generation is shifting from a culture of consumption to conservation, and you will have to be the leaders and creators of the world you want to live in. Continue to work on your resiliency. You will need it on this journey called life. And in closing, I'd like to quote Pastor Priggy. Love matters. Sprinkle some of it on everything you do. Congratulations, Augustana 2020 graduates.